This is the opening of Wisconsin. Congratulations, Lady Bunny. She's here with Bianca Del Rio, Jackie B, and Sherry Vine. It's for drinks for one, so don't complain. you old cunt tonight <laughs> if you've never been to the museum here they are people right here direct in front of you the fabulous sherry by jackie bean lady bunyan are in effect it's oh. shocking most of you thought they were dead but here they are <laughs> oh my god i wish you're hilarious now wait a minute bianca if you are gonna start off this show with jokes of that caliber i'm gonna slap my thigh until it's bleeding <laughs> You can't produce fluid at your age. Listen! <laughs> just slap Di your thighs so because it's diarrhea is, is fluid, honey. There's fucking blood coming out of your ass, so that'll explain it. Oh, is that, much, is sorry, is that much on your tongue? Is this a family friendly gig? Is this all ages? Sponsored by Disney. Thank you guys for coming out. Well, if it's Disney, we need more animation to make us look young. Listen. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> Come on! You, the, you're the one that won that fucking TV show! Ah! Bitch. Ah! Let me tell you something, people! If I knew that wearing way too much makeup and being a total cunt could make me a big star, I'd have done it years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, Bianca! I did! <laughs> yes, but since then- No, stop that, Jackie! <laughs> that is rude! You all know that Bianca travels the world spreading her own unique version of positivity. And by positivity, I mean AIDS. Oh, God. Nothing has changed. You know, you know I don't have AIDS because the only person that fucked me was the bitch who said, do Wigstock, we're not paying much. That's what it was. Okay, okay. Hi, ladies. And Hi, everybody. doesn't want to get in drag even on a talk show or to do her own videos. This is the hardest working drag queen in show business. Uh, she will walk off of this stage. She will walk off of the stage, take her makeup off, that thick, greasy makeup, <laughs> try not to get the cold sores off, <laughs> and, 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 and literally dash right here from a helicopter to the Sweden to do a gig tomorrow. Give a round for a bunch of Bianca Del Rio for her dedication. These other two, they don't have gigs, so. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Bunny. It's Neil Patrick Harris. Hi, everybody. Oh! Oh! I, just, I just want to. Welcome, Neil Patrick Harris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We need a huge, huge, Thank you. huge round of applause. Thank you. I am so impressed. We asked for a nurse and a writer, but we got a fucking doctor. Hey, oh. <laughs> I hope we can write prescriptions. <laughs> I'm in pain. It is my job as producer of this show to uh, keep things moving at a, oh, okay. at a tight clip. Oh, okay. I know that the first, uh, the Brazilian marching band uh, was, was very short and very tight. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Which is something no one ever They're lesbians, of course they're tight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like a Jew's wallet. Go ahead. Ooh. Okay, wow. Please tell me somebody filmed that so we can finally ruin her career for good. <laughs> Well, you know what? Bianca did something at the Montreal Festival and they all got on her case for being politically incorrect and the fucking uh, Montreal thing distanced itself from her and said, under no way do those remarks represent our thing. You know what? Anything this fucking hilarious bitch says, or this one, or this one, is welcome here at the Wingstock stage where we find PC, PC humor and crazy shit. You're going to see nudity today. It's not me. I'm gonna. Uh, no, at the end, we're gonna lock the doors and I'm gonna strip and you pay to get out. And you thought 95 bucks was expensive. <laughs> Neil, so, before we carry on, I know you wanna move us off the stage and get everything going because you're the producer. But I would like to ask a question that I feel that Sherry, Jackie, Bianca, and probably all of the audience wants to ask you. Will you fuck me? For the 113th time. Yes. Yes! But only orally. Okay, did you get that on video? Just because, can I'll you take your teeth out again so I can do it fast like? I am so uncomfortable with this mean-spirited comedy. No, honey, you're uncomfortable with your girdle and that, <laughs> and that, oh, and that ridiculous <laughs> Jiffy Pop turban. Oh my God. Which in your case is, wow. not a, is not a turban, it's disturbing. <laughs> Fucking Snuffleupagus just read me for Phil. <laughs> Sherry's over there. All right, we should probably get off the stage because I just heard the earpiece, I was just told that the catering showed up. <laughs> You ladies are welcome to go off, Bunny. Uh, they will be back to yes. do their uh, amazing performances yeah. soon. Yeah, well, I have cards for Bunny. Yeah, yeah, they're all right. Does Bunny have her, uh, her announcement cards? We have some announcements. As if I'm some senile old fool that who doesn't know what's going on unless it's written down. I'm extremely old time. <laughs> because I'm too vain to put my reading glasses on. I am just legitimately excited that you all chose to spend your day and your evening here. It means the world to me. Uh, my husband, well, my husband, David Burtka, came up with this idea of why don't we reinvent and, and redo a brand new version of Wigstock, and uh, we called Lady Bunny, and here we are. It's my first time at a Wigstock, and uh, so far it's, uh, you know, 74 minutes long. No, I want to tell you something. I moved to New York City in 1984. Since then, like the other jaded seamsters, and I'm guilty of it too, I sit and bitch. Oh, there's a Dwayne Reed and a Chase Bank on every corner. The city's so slick and sophisticated and all that. But you know what? After doing that and bitching for about 30 years, I finally said, well, listen here, you're a lifer. You ain't moving. So your choice is to keep bitching or put on a festival like you used to do to bring people together and make something fun about New York City. Amen. And the resurgence of drag has been so spectacular, but I do feel like sometimes people only end up seeing 12 chosen people lip-syncing when they have been told they're about to leave a show and they're singing a song that they don't really know or just learned the day before. So I want an opportunity to showcase 40, 50 performers doing what they do the best that they know how to do it. We have brand new people, we have young people, we have the oldest drag queen in America here. Not you, bunny. <laughs> And you know another thing is about today's drag that bugs me? Honey, you can sit and do 15,000 makeup tutorials and then take out your products and go, eh, I can afford this, eh, I can afford this. But for my generation, the makeup is what you put on before you went onto the stage. If you look gorgeous, I'll clock you on Instagram. Otherwise, get out there and perform. I'd rather see a crazy ass, I'd rather see a crazy booger like Sugar Pie Coco get out here and tear this stage up. Alright, let's do this. We do want to thank our nonprofit partner, the Gay Men's Health Crisis. They have teamed up with us. If you can give to them, that would be great, and they have given a lot to us 
as a community and as part of our show. Do you have any announcements yourself? Yes, I do, because the GMAC means so much to me that I've gotten into the community spirit, and I'm going to do complimentary HIV testing in my asshole after the show. I am positive that you will be thrilled with the results. No, we do have some... We, I'll go last. We do have some announcers. We do have some announce, announcers. Announcers. Yeah. Announcements. Uh, go for it. What did you just give me? So it's good, right? It is good. <laughs> it's your children's gar animals. Uh, you're going to let your kids watch this show? Um, they've been sitting here this whole time. So Yay! thanks for that. It's a Neil Patrick Harris' kids! No, they're not. No, okay. they're not. No, they're not. Okay. I would never let them within 100 yards of this. I have some announcements. Attention, everybody. This is important. There is an elderly gentleman that has been separated from his party. Sadly, he sometimes forgets his name and where he is. So if you see Lip Sinka, please escort him backstage. I guess they don't know who Lip Sinka I, is. I don't tell Lip Sinka that. If anybody sees Jackie B, please report to have her report to the dressing room. Her deep fryer is setting off the fire alarm. <laughs> Bianca wrote that one. That was good. It was handwritten. Let's see. Oh, and all the youngsters here today? Joey Arias does not have a bag of candy. And no matter what you do, do not enter his trailer. Okay, guys, be back. Thank you guys for dressing up for those of you that, oh. that wore oh. wigs. You look beautiful. Represent. In fact,